Hello and welcome to another episode. Now here we have a Sky Digital HD recorder satellite set-top box. It's also got a one terabyte hard drive in it. It's model number DRX895C. Now a lot of these get recycled but before we recycle it let's take some parts from it namely the one terabyte drive and maybe other things that we might find useful. As you can see it has a service tag on it or it has a ceiling tag on it. Once that is broken it's no longer guaranteed or the warranty is void. So, oh dear. Now next you have four screws. One, two, three, four. We'll just undo those. Stand it on end, you'll see there's a little grill on the side, so just get a screwdriver inside and then just pull it and it comes, it just pops out. Turn around the other way, pops out, and then you have this piece here. So, what you need to do is you need to push, hold this back, and then push it forward. pops out. Same on the other side. Now on the front here we are on the back I should say we have a little tab and um, that's holding the front of the casing in but at the back we have a couple of screws here that we need to remove and we'll just go ahead and do that. So just what we need to do then is we need to pull that tab underneath and lift the box. As you're holding the tab out, just lift the box lay it down and then we can remove it. Oh, smart card in there, remove that. So next you'll see these little metal plates holding in or little tabs. They need to be straightened so they can lift out. So just straighten them there. And this one, lift it up, slide it forward and off. Now on the casing again, there's more of these little tabs, we just bend them into the right position. Or straighten them. And then the, back, the panel should slide up and out. Up and out. Now we have the inside of the box and this is what we're looking for. Now you can see here, just get the reflection out, there's your hard drive there. That's what we want to go for. Now you can also see there's a pretty good fan there as well and we'll go for that. So the next thing you do we want to remove this board to get to the hard drive. So we just pull up the leads, bring them over. We can nip this here and we'll be able to get everything out of the way. So 
So that's out of the way there now. Now there's only one screw holding the board down in place here and that's over here so we'll just remove that. And if you look in here then you'll see a couple of screws are coming through here so we remove those. The antenna connectors they're also holding it in place so we remove those and then the D-plug and we should just about be ready to take it out. So with the that's one. Just need to loosen them and then they'll actually come and spin off. And then these, there's a six, or you can use your little needle nose pliers. Oh, that should be ready to come out. You now it's been held in on here as well on the GPIO, so just prise the board up. Okay, we'll also disconnect the fan and then just prise the board up. Not a bit stiff, and it should lift out. Now to get to the hard drive, to get it out fully, again turn it over. And then you have these, this panel here along here. This needs to be removed. So pull that out of the way. And then you can see these little tabs here again. They need to be all straightened so we can remove them. Or we can pull the board. So. Now you can also see these all little LEDs. And the little switches here. You may find that useful for some little project in the future. So go ahead and oh there's also these little black tabs here. Just pull them back. Another one here. Little and that should remove. Also you have this other one here which is a little bit awkward because they're plastic pressed tabs. So it just right, that's out of the way. Now the bracket for the hard drive is held in here, so we'll need to remove those screws. And over the other side, you can see there's more screws here, but the one we want to concentrate is on the one down here. So we'll go for that. And it still doesn't seem to want to budge. So, uh, just notice the tabs. Yeah, there was two more tabs here. And there's the hard drive. Now just pull the leads. And we can remove the bracket here. that will just pry off. So it's telling me here it's capacity 2 terabyte. Oh, my mistake. I thought it was a 1. 
this is a two terabyte but generally with the it's usually about 500 meg is used for the firmware and the OS from the satellite company so we have 1.5 usable which is not so bad uh, better than throwing that in the bin we also have a pretty usable fan it's a 12 volt 0.7 watt we also have some decent looking caps and possibly more here so again you may find some of this useful now of course you could attempt to put a smaller drive into it and reuse it but that's up to you now I hope you found this useful give us a thumbs up if you liked it uh, drop a comment uh, like share subscribe we will be recycling what's left of this so there'll be nothing going to waste and the environment will be much a, a much better place.